to my channel. Today is the beginning of a brand new series. This is going to be called Shades of Shaylee. And in this series, I'm gonna give you guys makeup tips, tricks, hacks, and show you how I do some of my looks as well. I have always wanted to do makeup videos, but I've been a really bad nail biter. And so for a lot of years, my nails were so short and I was so, so self-conscious of them. And for the last four months or so, I've been growing my nails out. I decided, you know, I'm tired of being self-conscious about this thing because it's the reason I won't play piano. It's the reason I won't do makeup tutorials. And it was like, honestly, running my life a little bit. I know that sounds kind of silly, but in so many moments when my anxiety has been out of control, I will rip my nails off. So anyways, I tell you all of that because I want you to know this is a big step for me. Not just because I've never made these videos before, but because I actually grew up my nails a little bit so I could make these videos. They're still on the shorter side, but there's actual nail there now and I'm super proud of it. So I've been thinking long and hard about what I want to do for this very first episode and I want to keep this as simple and basic as possible because some of you guys watching this video right now, maybe you have never even like put on makeup before or maybe you have never had someone teach you anything about makeup. So this first episode is really for beginners. I felt it was important to do because we have to start somewhere. First things first. I just did my skincare routine. This is what I do right before I put on makeup. You wanna make sure that your skin is nice and supple and moisturized. I have the entire skincare routine that I do here on my channel as well. I just filmed it a few days ago. So I will link that up here in the cards. It'll also be in the description box below. Do not skip the skin step. Make sure your skin is ready for makeup. So important for beautiful, flawless makeup. After skincare, I always put on primer, but because it's already like three or four in the afternoon and I'm not gonna be wearing my makeup very long, I'm not gonna put primer on. But this is another thing, don't skip this step if you're gonna be wearing makeup all day long, especially if you live in a humid climate or you're someone who tends to sweat throughout the day. I'm a fellow sweater. So let's talk about foundation, shall we? Let's talk about foundation. First off, how do you find your perfect shade? This is something where I believe you need to physically go into a store and have the consultants at the store help you choose the right shade that's for you. These people are trained to do those things. I'm not saying they're always 100% accurate because they've definitely not done the right shade for me a time or two when it comes to foundation and concealer, but they are your best bet. You don't wanna like sit here and guess what your shade is if you have no clue. You know, it's the same as like sizing for a bra. I really believe you need the in-store experience to really know, but with COVID restrictions right now and everything, I don't even think any places are open. So that may not be a reality for you. So in the meantime, watch some of those other videos, like just search in the bar, like what, how to find the right foundation. Um, or foundation chart because there's an actual chart that'll tell you and it goes off of like your skin color your skin tone like my skin runs on the pink side so I have to find foundation that will balance that out now another question I get is liquid foundation or powder foundation my answer is both so I go in with the liquid first because since my skin is nice and moist I know some of you guys don't like that word my sister hates the word moist but supple so we'll go with supple. My skin is nice and supple right now, so I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. This is not an actual name brand Beauty Blender. Okay, those are like $30 for a sponge. That's really dumb. Please don't pay that kind of money for a sponge that you can get at like Target or Walmart for like $3. <laughs> this sponge, I don't know how much it was, but it's probably around like $3 or so. I take it to the sink and I get it wet. And then when you turn the water off, make sure you squeeze out all the excess water out of the sponge because you do not want this dripping with water that'll ruin your makeup completely. But I have come to realize that the best makeup applications that I have for my skin come from a moist, from a wet <laughs> sponge slash beauty blender. I have wetted my sponge. I'm gonna take my liquid foundation. I'm just gonna do like two little dots like this. Can you see this? It's not a lot. You do not want to use a ton because most uh, liquid foundations, a little goes a really long way. So 
I like to put it all over my face like this first. See what I'm doing? I'm just patting it into my skin. I'm not pulling. I'm not stretching. I'm just pat, 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 patting. And I'm not missing a single spot. But like I said, I'm a little bit extra and I like to do powder foundation as well. But the next step after the liquid foundation is the concealer. Concealer is another one of those things that gets really tricky with your shade. This is actually my wrong shade. This is not my actual shade. It's too light for my eyes. But I realized that after I'd already bought it. And I didn't ask anybody because I thought I knew. And I thought I could do it myself. But I clearly didn't know what I was doing. Uh, so lesson learned. But when I buy makeup, I have to use up the whole thing before I go and buy another thing. It's just it's my promise to myself. So this is almost out finally so I can actually get the right shade for my eyes but I you know I've seen a lot of people go crazy like hog wild with concealer I like to stretch my products for as long as possible because I'm extremely frugal like that and because my makeup products are a little bit more on the pricier side um, if you guys are curious about what liquid foundation I used I use the Fenty Beauty liquid foundation not cheap I like to just kind of do a little bit like even this is a, a lot for me but just gonna cover blemishes, cover under eye circles, mouth. I like to do this. I have like one little wrinkle on my head that I like to like kind of cover like that. Okay. I have a hair in my mouth. Got it out. I take my ring finger and once again, I just dab the product into my skin. I have found my uh, finger to be the best thing because then I can really get like in the corners of my eyes and um, I don't know. I just, I like the way it looks with my finger better than I would with like a brush or sponge or anything. I think it absorbs the product better, especially like in the eye area. I've gotten some crazy bright uh, concealers in my day and they make me look like a ghost because I'm already so like white, you know? And so there's been some concealers that have completely whitened me out. Luckily for me, I'm like the lightest shade in every <laughs> makeup brand basically. Like this one is porcelain. This one's porcelain beige, um, but I'm like a different porcelain, but almost everything I buy says porcelain on it. So that makes my life a little easy, but we all have such different colors to our skin. So it's really important to get that color match when the stores start opening up again, go do it for yourself. I used to be a big fan of waxing my brows until somebody basically waxed off the whole front of my eyebrow and it took me like six years to regrow it. Now I'm like, uh-uh, nobody touches these brows. Um, I have threaded them before and I liked that, uh, but I will never go back to waxing. Never, ever, ever. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. What's it called? I've like sharpened it so many times I can't read the writing anymore. It's a it's a pencil, just like a typical pencil, but it has this these little bristles on the other side. Can you guys see? Yeah. I'm gonna use you guys as my mirror for this because I have to get it nice and precise. Now, you, when you guys are up this close up to my face, you can see all my, my imperfections of my face. We're gonna get real close and personal. So I like to start on the bottom and I just lightly line them like this. I need to sharpen this again, actually. Right now I'm just gonna kinda upward strokes. So I'm not like completely filling in and it looks unnatural. Upward strokes. All right, I'm gonna take my brush side now and I'm just going to literally brush my brows up and then just brush them over like this. There's so many ways to do brows, but this is like the easiest and least time consuming. I know if you have never done your brows before, you're probably looking at this and you're like, this looks like a lot of work. But once you get the hang of this, it goes really quickly. I can usually do my brows in like 30 seconds. <laughs> and then I swear by brow gel, like topping off your brows with some brow gel. I have this one from ColourPop. 
Um, and it's almost out, so I don't think there's anything left. But it just kind of like adds the final touch to the brows, and I really love that. So let's do our powder foundation now. I use the Sephora brand. It's just your typical powder. I do feel like with powder foundation, you can go drugstore on that all the way. This is the one product that I always buy, like, much cheaper drugstore or cheaper brands because I feel like once I've already applied the liquid uh, foundation to my face, the powder glides on a lot more smoothly. So we're going to do this because this will help, like, all of our other powders stay on our face. I would never stop at just liquid because then your face is just kind of sticky. Make sure you also add it to your eyes. This kind of primes your eyes if you don't want to get like an eye primer so that your eyes are fresh when you start applying eyeshadow, which we're probably not going to do today, but I'm going to show you guys in the next episode some of my favorite eyeshadow looks. I'm going to add mascara. I think I'm going to keep the eyes bare today. Just We'll just make this a very minimalist look. I basically don't have eyelashes which is why I like to wear falsies, but the more I wear falsies, the more I lose my actual lashes, so it's like this endless cycle of torment. Um, but I'm trying to grow out my natural lashes. There's not much going on there, but I'm working with what I have. When I show you guys actual makeup looks, I'm gonna go more in depth with this, but this is like a powder bronzer, basically. Um, so instead of using it on my cheekbones as bronzer. I'm gonna use this all over my face just to make my face a little more warm and inviting. Right now it's just foundation, you know? So um, I just, I'm applying it to my foundation brush and I'm just kind of tapping it in. And then I'm just kind of like in circular motions, I'm just gonna like go around my face. Go around, like think of, you know, this all being a line right here. This is where you really wanna apply most of the product is around your face, not necessarily all over it but around it. So I'm gonna start off by just doing this. I'm just dabbing the product right in. Like I said, you can use this with any bronzer that you have. It's already livening it up a little bit. I look less pale. And then you can take it and you can just kinda like rub it in your cheekbones if you want. But like I said, this is very like simple and easy. Rub it into your nose. This won't take much time to just add some color to your face. Last tip I have today is to get a lip pencil that is in like a more nude shade or more neutral shade. And you can use this to line your lips and also fill them in. This one's kind of broken, so it's like going back. It's like, no, don't use me. I like to line my lips a little past where my like actual lip is. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit. And then I just fill it in. And I'm already wearing chapstick, so I think that makes the product apply a little bit. A little bit easier. But this would basically be like my three to five minute makeup routine. If I was in a hurry, and on the days when I just want a more natural look, this would be something I would gravitate toward. In the next video, we're gonna focus more on eyeshadow. I'm gonna show you guys the best trick that I have learned with eyeliner. It'll change your eyeliner game. And then I'm gonna do another video talking about lip colors, and I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorite red lipsticks for the holidays. So all of that will be in future episodes. But if there's something specific that you would like to see in a future makeup video, leave it down below in the comments because I wanna create content for you guys that you would enjoy watching. I hope it was helpful for those of you who are newbies in the makeup world. And I hope this video also encouraged you to um, to conquer some of those fears that you have or some of those things that you know you need to do to be confident to go after something that you want. For me, it was my nails. For you, I don't know what that thing is, but we all have those things. But we only live once and what we do today counts. There's a piece of dust floating in front of my face. I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Vlogmas, and we have to choose two winners from yesterday's video, so let me pull up my comment section. I'm just going to scroll and choose two random comments. First winner, Tyler Burton. 
This was so fun. I have never tried Spanx, but my husband just listened to a masterclass presenter by the founder and it piqued my interest. He is a, he was impressed with her business strategies. I was impressed with the leggings. The velvet ones and the joggers both have me curious. Maybe I'll ask for some for Christmas. Yay, Tyler, you won a $5 gift card to Starbucks. Let's go ahead and pull up one more comment from yesterday's video. Ruby Torres, she said, I have the faux leather ones in XL, but honestly, they are so tight. Yes, those leggings are tight, size up. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I tried on Spanx leggings yesterday. I'm actually wearing the velvet leggings right now. Can you guys see them? This is a weird camera angle. The winners that won, I hope you guys are seeing this. Claim your gift card by emailing me right here and um, we can get in touch that way and I can get your guys' email address. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, you know.